Welcome to paradise. Haea, Hawaii, just outside of Honolulu and the home of the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. A tremendous setting and a spectacular game that we have in store. Today, these two teams square off in what should be an exciting Mountain West showdown. As we'll see, the winners of five straight, the Boise State Broncos. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Broncos will kick it away first. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Hawaii's offense will have the first possession of the game. Here he comes, and obviously a deep... Line gets set, first down. Give to the running back. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. Third and six, and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. Wants to throw, it's Shager. Trying to get to him. Trying to escape and get it himself. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Rainbow Warriors come to the line with a new set of downs. Got his man down the middle. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. They're bringing heat. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. He's got his man. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. 
aerial assault continues. Makes the grab on the left. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, just keeps firing. Got it in the middle, it's McBride. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. This is a receiver who's so dangerous once he has the football in his hands. That's a simple slant pass, but after he catches it, he's able to work in the middle of the field, finds the open green, and get the first down. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Deep shot for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Line getting set on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. The Rainbow Warriors have pushed it inside the 20. Looking to throw at Shager. Feeling some... And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. Offense getting set for first down. From the gun, the ground game. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. Offense trying to keep them off balance on first and 10. Running back searching for a hole. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Off play action. Outside the pocket. Let's it go. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. This time they'll go to the running game. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Gonna run it. It's Genty. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. They moved him forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Broncos! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. 
Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Out of the gun to give to the back. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Back to pass, it's Shager. Coming after it. He'll try to do it himself. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. And the Rainbow Warriors will send out the punt unit. Gets the first one of the day off, and hoping he's not as busy as he was in that loss last week when he kicked it four times. Looking everywhere for room to run, but really good coverage, and he'll step out of bounds. He'll keep it himself. Dances away from one. Slips one guy, and now he's loose. He's finally brought down, but that freshman found some running room. And the Broncos are in the hurry up. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. He wants to throw here on second down. Right down the middle. Got him downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. Pocket starts to collapse. Pressure is on the way and the pressure has arrived and down he goes at the 30. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone. They're like, no, no, no. We're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. They'll run play action. Throws toward the end zone. And it's picked off. This guy is so comfortable and so comfortable playing cover, too. He's just back there roaming around in the middle of the field. He's so confident in his speed to break on the ball. As soon as he saw where the QB was trying to go with it, he put his heel on the ground, accelerated, and made the pick. They open this possession from their own 20. He's going to pass. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Both teams made no secret. They wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll go to the ground. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Just a short pass to the tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? They're and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him. You try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Getting the sack. Getting the fumble. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. 
That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. To the air, it's Nelson. Pressure coming. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. The field goal is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. offense returns to the field they put it on the ground last time they had it got to take care of it this time David and I think you've got to put in context a lot of times fumbles are just luck you, you just got to move on give him the football again Jesse and, and not worry I think that's a good point there David get him the ball again to help him play the next play and know that he's okay because when that guy's playing well this offense is on fire wants to throw on first down Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. What a nice connection. Knocked down immediately, and they've got it at the 25. They'll throw it on first down. That's caught. It's Sims. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Back to the air one more time. Getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Yeah, and how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Trying to get to him. They're bringing heat. He's going to run it. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. And the field goal unit is on the field. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. Penn State is going to enjoy the trip back to Happy Valley after a rock-solid performance. And you take care of business on the road, and you stack wins there in Beaver Stadium, and suddenly it's quite the resume. Going to be interesting to see what the fallout from this one is for one ranked team, while the other figures to get a bounce when the new rankings come out, guys. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more, but Jesse... I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. They're getting this guy lathered up. At the 35, he's got room. He's off to the races. He now has 115 yards on the ground, and that's just another routine day for this guy who's been among the nation's leaders in rushing all season long.
They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Boise State, 14, Hawaii, 3. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the field. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. They'll ride the hot hand. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Gives it to the back on the draw. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. To throw, it's Shager. Feeling some heat. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. The Rainbow Warriors are marching down the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Showing off those sweet feet as he gets it to the 45. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw quickly to the tight end. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Fires to the wideout. And the misconnection on third down. And the Rainbow Warriors line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. Boise State ready to send out that offense. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse, they'd love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break. And why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute throwing and running the football game. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now before the half? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. On the move at the 30. And how much running room have they been able to find just all day? They are piling up unbelievable rushing stats. The Broncos will snap it on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He'll off one deep down the left side. Got it inside the 10. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. 
Dropping back, it's Nelson. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Broncos. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. And how about the offense? They spread them out. Everybody spread wide. Easier to read a defense when you do that. They find the matchup they want, and they get rewarded with the score. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the run from inside his own five. Bringing the heat. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half. So Hits him in stride at the 10. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. From the gun, he'll try to throw. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Gets it to the back. And he's going to lose yard as he was looking everywhere for just a little grass and a little air and none to be found. He got it. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Here's the return from inside his tent. They make the stop on the return and that is priority one. You don't want some big return to give up a cheap touchdown on the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Men, nice to see you actually showed up for today's broadcast in paradise, given all there is to do there in Honolulu. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's say aloha once again to the guys inside Aloha Stadium. The Rainbow Warriors will kick it away to crank up the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Let's see what they've got on second down. The running back has it. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops to throw. Coming after him. Trying to make magic with his feet. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Broncos racing to the line in the hurry-up. 
This quarterback doing a lot of good decision making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. But we got a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. He'll pull it on the read. Powers through. Touchdown, Broncos! And the route is on. This is like having an extra running back in your backfield. This quarterback is magic. When he decides to keep the football, he can make people look absolutely silly. He shows you on that play. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Vanderbilt opened up a can. And how many times can you say you went into someone else's building and beat them by double digits? It's what happened today, and the rest of college football should take notice. Trying to find his man on first down. The and that pass intercepted. Got room on the return. Inside the 10. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Boise State. He made that look a lot easier than it is. When you break on a football, you got to see it and go at the perfect angle. The free safety leaves his spot, goes and gets it, and then does the hard part, takes it back to the house for six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is 35 to 6. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the move from inside is five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. But guess what? They do have it. So you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30. It's third and short. To the air. It's Shager. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. And the Rainbow Warriors will call on their punt team. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. The Bronco offense back out there ready to give it another spin. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. 
With these 4-3 defensive ends that can get pressure on quarterbacks, they get paid a lot of money in the National Football League, and that's why. When you can get out of your stance and win it around the edge to get to the QB, not many guys do it as well as that. This is a third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Get it out on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Broncos send out the punt unit. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Hawaii has it back as they send the offense onto the field. They'll start this drive with a pass. Unloads to the right. He's got it. Gets away from one. Finds some space. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The gift to the back. Powers through the defender. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. Off the play fake. Using the quick game. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And they'll run the field goal unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. Absolutely perfect. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Boise State ready to send out that offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this. Looking deep down the right side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Pressure coming. He's going to take off. Any way you can in your freshman season at quarterback, and he gets it done on the ground. And the Broncos will have it first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the big fella. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Give to the back. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Looking downfield, it's Nelson. Getting some heat. Wiggles free, but he can't get away again, and down he goes, and the trickeration is not so tricky. What if I had told you this quarterback would be sacked at least five times in this game and yet still somehow would be winning? That's not normally how it works. you got to give the offense credit because even though they've suffered some serious negative plays, they've still been able to make some good things happen. The Broncos will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Trying to play a little field position with that high, high punt. 
working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Hawaii ready to go back to work on offense. To the air on first down. They've got the screen set up. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. And here comes the offense on second down. Brings up second down. That's the end of the quarter, and Boise State has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. On second down, wants to throw. Fires left. Got his man all by himself. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. So after the huge chunk play, they've got it first and goal from the 10. Finds his target down the middle. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Rainbow Warrior. Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and slither through a little crack that was not a crack that was wide open didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding ready to try the point after splits the uprights let's go to the studio now and check in with kevin connors kevin what do you got guys right back to your game after we update the nation on this one UTSA looked less like a pack of road runners and more like a group of road warriors in a solid victory. This team almost always plays tough in San Antonio, and today they found a way outside of the Alamo Dome. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Handoff to the lone back. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. They'll give it to the back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Now on third down after that run. Looking to throw, it's Nelson. Gets it out quickly. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And the Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin them back deep in their own end. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Hawaii offense returns to the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Quickly complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. It's caught downfield. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. He wants to throw. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Maybe a little frustrated after that last incompletion. It's second and 10 from the 38. Got his man in the middle. 
They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Trying to get to it. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Now the defense has got it, and they're going the other way. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football, and the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. Boise State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Tackle is made after the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Touchdown, Broncos! And the stomping has commenced. With that, they are closing in on bowl eligibility, but with this big lead and a 6-0 start, much bigger dreams for this squad. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out in this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Boise State. 42, Hawaii, 16. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Complete in the middle. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. First down. They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's McBride. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got his man on the outside. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They want to just keep throwing it. Unloads to the wideout. Working the middle. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Got it behind the line. It's Sims. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The back goes in motion. On second down, he'll let it fly. He finds his man. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. The Rainbow Warriors will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Direct snap. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Hawaii! Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. On to attempt the try. Splits those uprights right in half. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. The Bronco offense back out there, ready to give it another spin. The give and tick, 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 tick. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. 
back to the ground with the running back. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Let's see what they do on third down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Leaves it with the running back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Gain of one. Second down. Seven is the lucky and skilled number for this squad as they've made it to this point in the season and they are still perfect. Still perfect and they're cooking. You can tell they got some momentum. You know, seven weeks obviously, that does, that's not the whole season. You got bigger fish to fry down the road. Great start, but you can tell this team's for real, for real. No doubt, and they deserve for us all to be talking about them right now because they look as advertised. This is a team with tremendous talent. They've taken care of business up to this point, but now because they're undefeated at this point of the year, every game from this point out gets bigger and bigger and more important. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.